Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add storage capability to a character in a survival game kit. So this is a empty survival game kit template project, All right? So um, the first thing we're going to create is if you go to your blueprint characters, you see the master character survival character. I'm going to right, right click. I'm going to create a character, and I'm going to uh, name it BP not BP NPC character okay double click open it and I'm going to keep the same mesh as the survival character if you open that I'm going to copy this copy the mannequin paste it here copy the location paste it here and compile All right now I can close the survival character I'm going to add um, stories inventory component okay and uh, click on this and click on uh, class settings we're going to add the interface as well thing is survival interface inventory interface okay now compile save now let's place it on the world in npc character go to event graph click on blueprint folder and i'm going to search for master storage and then open this one master storage all right so in here, from here, I'm going to copy everything and paste it in NPC character. Okay, so make sure the names are right, events are right. Now I'm going to try to compile and I'm going to get some variable errors. So I'm going to right click and create variable, compile again. And it's all. And this is another one. This is going to be, I'm going to drag this component and set it to target. And then remove this one, compile again. Go to the um the stories uh the wood chess build part i can close master stories wood chess build part copy the client events and put it inside of these client events okay make sure the names are right and try to compile is going to give error the wood chess wood, wood chest i think is the the physical like we can just replace wood chest with this mesh and connect the mesh it's gonna be the player mesh the same thing for this we're gonna combine this we're gonna take this we're gonna copy the interact events and paste it and replace um, this node paste it here connect it here and then the player company is gonna go here okay You could do this different way, but this is how I done it. Uh, so let's see what we errors we have. But we're gonna get a lot of errors in the in this function in this uh, group. So it's gonna be the interactive playable um, inventory. Right click, compile. Uh, owner required interact. Compile. Okay, so this is fine. Check owners check owner so we have to create this function so i'm going to copy the check owners function and go to our my npc character so we're going to create this new function so it's going to be check owners and i think it has one input which is the player name uh so we're going to go to npc let's we have to disconnect this first otherwise we won't be able to use this so disconnect this compile and then go to ch check player and input is going to be player name is going to be name copy this here as connect compile all this error right click create them um, so I'm going to do this, expose on spawn and replicate it, okay. Uh, this should be set. Uh, so now, right now, we're going to go to our interact events. We're doing all, everything in NPC character. We're not changing anything in the Uchets build part or master build part. Uh, make sure you don't change those, uh, only in here. So we have our own function here. So I'm just going to connect this one. 
um that this and delete this and this our check owners There you go, we can just copy this. I'm not gonna use this even though, but you can have it if you want. There you go. Set owners, uh, and we have that. I think we have to give it a generate all the events. It's going to be can character step on, yeah. Character mesh is gonna be custom collision. And check that. Yeah, let me try this. Let me compile. Play. There you go. See, it highlights now, right? And if I press E, there you go. The story is locked. See, it works. It highlights, but you're not seeing the, um, the tags. For example, if I go to the stories box, right, it says E, open stories box. Right now, it only highlights right now. But if I press E, I have the stories box. So let's give it a try if the stories box works. Uh, if we can copy all this, paste. And we get more stuff. Some. We'll go back. Press E. It's still there. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. Everything working now. Let's see if we can work on showing the label when we hover over. Let me search master storage. Open this. First thing, interact name, right? Uh, so we're gonna copy this. So we're gonna copy this, right? And go back to our NPC interact name. Paste it here. Right. Connect this. And drag the stories inventory component and connect this here. That's our interact name. Then interact action. Copy this. Go to interact action. Paste it here. Compile. Right click. Create variable. Um, now the next one is is interactable. This is checked. So is interactable. This is checked. Uh, you can also set up a variable if you want it to disable and enable interactable uh, from your character. For example, if you have NPC which you want your player to be interacted with, you can set up a variable here. Right now, I'm just keeping it on all the time, so it's always interactable. Next is input interact input brush. This is important. I'm gonna copy this uh interact input brush paste it here i think we have to create this variable yeah create the variable i'm going to copy the properties from this right right click copy and then select this paste it here so this is the um the e icon that shows up compile what's next interact time uh i'm not going to use this feature but if you want to use it, you can use it. We're going to copy this just for sake of it. But I haven't tested this feature. So interact. What was the interact time, right? Interact time. I'm going to delete this. I can delete it right now after I copy and paste. Now I can delete that return. Uh, let me see what else I needed. Let's connect this. Compile. Errors. Let me see. This is uh, uh, interact editable. Pretty much all of them are editable. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Right click, create, editable, compile, editable, uh, time to interact. I think time to interact was editable as well and zero no settings all right so i think we are done here um yeah and so we have no errors so what else next 
uh, interaction action, interact time, paste it here. And I think we have to create this. And I think this has to be, yeah, this has to be, you have to expose it. Uh, pretty much all of them has to be exposed. This one, I think, um, this one as well. Editable. Make sure this is editable. I mean, it's going to work, but you know, you won't be able to change the properties. All right, there you go, compile. Now, if you click on NPC character on your right, you should, you're gonna see this. Um, so you can also group them so that, um, for example, if I click on it and then go to category, I can see interact, right? And whatever you want to categorize, whatever the new variables you added, you can just put that in that specific category. So it's easier to find them. Um, this one, and I don't think I need anything else, right? I need a timer task. Yeah, it's there already. So compile now. If you go to NPC interact, you should see a category section interact, and all of these attacks are there. Click on the story inventory component. There you go. So the storing settings item storage name. It's not going to be storage box let's say it's going to be like um, um, NPC right that's the name of it I would change this to interact task interaction task and the default we can say interact right and in the NPC character is going to say interact now we should see there you go if I zoom out we say interact NPC right or we can say we can override it we can say um open inventory right see so if i play it so you can see open inventory npc see so if i press e the inventory opens it's pretty cool right um so yeah so that's it for this video let me know if you have any questions um until next time goodbye